We pick up where the last episode left off, with the deadly eponymous Vines of Evil threatening to kill Flint and Roadblock. Let go of my legs, sucker! Well, it didn't rhyme, but I still think Roadblock is awesome. Eventually they locate Mutt, who's figured out that the plants don't care for a face full of jet exhaust. Flint and Roadblock seem perfectly fine just standing directly in it, though. Meanwhile, back in the Cobra Arena of Sport, remember this thing? Duke and Snake Eyes are pitted against each other. Huh, looks like Cobra's upgraded their apparatus a bit since the last miniseries. Good for them. Zartan is just lurking against a wall, clearly showing off his camouflage powers when he suddenly reappears and asks what the next big target will be. Cobra Commander replies, The American Capital! And I hope he's just being overdramatic. I'd hate to think our potential new leader doesn't actually know basic geography. Snake Eyes works out some stupid plan to send word back to HQ. It's a plan that depends on Cobra being stupid enough not to confiscate his utility belt communicator. Which, they are. Stupid enough, I mean. Then Duke and Snake Eyes briefly break free and have a nice little fight sequence to the series' ever-present light jazz score. Back at G.I. Joe HQ, where, incidentally, Scarlet appears to be in charge, Doc introduces his new invention, an energy mirror, which is exactly as stupid as it sounds. But it works, so the team rushes them to D.C. in another convoy! Woohoo! Back in the Vine Pit, the guys escape using some kind of emergency helicopter. I'm hoping this was part of their standard issue gear, because I'm not sure I can buy these three building one from scratch. Actually, given how quickly the thing falls apart, maybe they did build it. Oh, and they have to leave Roadblock behind. Mud and Flint pull the standard knock out a couple of guards and take their clothes move, also stealing themselves a vehicle along the way. At Cobra HQ, Destro, Cobra Commander, and Zartan get into a bit of petty squabbling, so Destro shines some sunlight on Zartan, knowing full well that he hates that shit, and then he laughs about it for a long time, like a really long time. <laughs> Dude, it wasn't that funny. Meanwhile, Roadblock's Vine situation is apparently spontaneously improved for no particular reason. So Cobra hits Washington, D.C. with a tornado, and the Joes rush in with their energy mirrors, which can... apparently... stop a tornado. Don't ask me, man. Actually, oh, they can't! Between the high winds and giant hailstones, the Joes are actually kind of fucked with their stupid mirrors. Nice! Mutt and Flint find their way into a Cobra bar and get into a fight to the tune of some jaunty piano music. What is this with this show and bizarre fight scores? The dust clears and the guys meet a guy in a sailor suit who says this. Now, you want to pay my fee and get out of here? Uh, hmm. Let's see what Cobra's up to. Destro shoots a bunch of lightning at DC, which the Joes effectively reflect with their stupid mirrors. Yes, if you shoot energy at them instead of wind and hail, they actually do what they're supposed to. And then they shoot it right back at Cobra. This blows the laser core into orbit, then into three pieces scattered across the globe. Well, it's about time. You can't have a G.I. Joe miniseries without chasing something down at different points on the globe. Apparently this has caused crazy weather all over, so whatever the hell Flint, Mutt, and their new sailor friend are doing out in the desert turns out even more ridiculous. To be continued! 